All I care about, all I've ever really cared about, is having my life with you. And and with David and the picture and all was around, it was impossible and that insane agreement. It's But it was the only way for us to be together. And but if that's the only reason that you came because of the news about David, then he's still controlling us, our decisions and how we feel about each other. I'm here because I, I love you, stupid. And David or anybody else could could never make me change my my feelings on that. I need to know that you forgive me. Look, we both messed up, right? Okay? Can we just say that? We both messed up trying to keep this little family together. Let's just say that and let's just move on. Can you really do that? Well, yeah, as long as, you know, you're not married to me and living with him or saying that you love me and having his kids, sure. I know the deal with David, but I... I don't know the deal with us. So tell me, where do we stand? Honey, we stand about this close to having everything that we want due to a little thing called karma. Even Dr. Evil can't see his way around that. But don't you worry. It's only gonna make him seem sick. You don't want mommy to get suspicious, right? I was just thinking about you. I was wondering why my scalp was itching. Here I thought I put too much jojoba oil in my cream rinse. You use cream rinse? Oh, are you kidding? I make it myself. Avocado, a little coconut oil. Not only is it dynamite for the scalp, it tastes terrific. Oh, I had no idea. Oh, yeah. You think I roll out of bed looking this lustrous? Oh, come on, kitten. Takes work. I'm talking blood, sweat, and ten different natural moisturizers. Hey, listen. Um, if you and your hair can take a little break, I, uh, I need a favor. Sure, what is it? Can you, uh, meet me over at Jake's? Yeah, I, as a matter of fact, I'm already here. Or there. I mean, I'll, I'll wait for you. Good, thanks. Where's Kendall? She's upstairs. But I made it very clear I want to see my daughter. Erica, she wanted me to come down and talk to you and tell her that she's embarrassed and she doesn't she doesn't think you're gonna understand. Well, she's right about that. I don't. We didn't plan this, okay? It just it just happened. Kendall didn't want it to come out this way. Well, it seems that it has. And running and hiding, that's just making it worse. She also wanted me to tell you that she never meant to hurt Zach. When Zach saw you two together, it didn't hurt him. Aiden, it killed him. He's in no condition to care for two small boys. Those children need their mother. And she wishes that she could be there for them. She can. Not now. She, she needs some time to, um, to figure things out. It doesn't sound like Kendall. She would never abandon her little boys. Listen, Erica, um, I know you're worried. I know you're concerned about your daughter. She just needs some time, that's all. She'll come around. And she'll come home. Can you trust me on that? Well, you certainly don't give me much choice, do you? You're making a smart decision. For your daughter and you. Tell her not to stay gone too much longer. Her boys miss her. We all do.
Are you okay? <laughs> Silly question, of course not. Listen, I'll take that off of your mouth. If you promise you won't scream. But if you do, you'll regret it, okay? Is my mother dead? Not yet. But she will be. Unless you're a good girl. And do exactly what I tell you.